Do I look at the camera? Hey, I'm Jeffrey. I'm a small grain grower, and if you're like me, you found that it's easy to grow and cut small grains on a small scale, but it's really hard to process them. And after a number of different experiments, I decided to make a machine that ran on pedal powers, it's an old exercise bike, to dehull and clean and winnow my wheat. It works for rice, barley, and wheat. And so I decided I should do a YouTube because it works so well and show the world. So here we go. This is hand threshed wheat. You can see it's got lots of chaff, a little bit of straw, an occasional grasshopper wing, a leaf, maybe something from another plant. That's what we're starting with. <clears throat> this machine is designed to clean that up and make it into this, which is clean grain, ready to grind. It does it in one step. This is the hopper. This is the dehulling mechanism. And I'm gonna take it apart for a second so you can see. It's very simple. It's an old Victor and X corn grinder that has a, um, instead of the original burrs for grinding, I've replaced it with rubber, natural rubber, latex. This is a quarter inch thick, could be 3 16 of an inch thick. I glued it onto the plates and I made some little entry places for the grains from the auger to those points. That's the heart of the dehulling. The cleaning is simply a matter of screening out the debris that'll go through the screen, everything except the wheat, and then a winnowing process. And this, this device is able to do that all with one pass and one power source. Because of the, the rubber is so elastic, the individual grains as they're going out through the, uh, the dehuller splatter all over and so I have to put a guard on it. <clears throat> this will just take a second to put the guard back on. If I remember how to do it. Oh, got to do it this way. We'll probably edit this out. <clears throat> this is probably the fifth agriculturally related pedal powered machine I've made and I, it's one that I built kind of getting up for the next one which will be a threshing machine for small grains because threshing is really the most intense um, thing that I have found in processing small grains at this scale. We have become so accustomed to inexpensive clean grain that you can buy at the store that of course was all processed with a combine it's easy to forget how difficult it is to do it by hand however <clears throat> with the correct simple machines it's not that difficult so I'm just getting the guard on here and we'll get a shot of, you can actually see into the guard a little bit. And I'm gonna adjust this so that the grains, as they come through the auger into the center of the, the uh, rubber discs, it just rubs the hulls off. It also crushes any little uh, wads of dirt. Which is Are we on? Mm -hmm. This is, without the guard, showing you really slowly how the grains roll between the rubber discs, which gets the hulls off. And I adjust it so it puts some pressure on them, but not so much as to crack the grains. just spiral their way out if 
I go quickly, and they fly all over. Grain. I'm going to put some in the hopper. Quite a bit actually because this thing is pretty fast. Normally in dehulling you might have done a uh, preliminary winnowing, but I decided for testing this machine it would be good not to do that. Here we have absolutely a worst case scenario. That's a mess. Nobody wants to grind that and make bread out of that. <clears throat> All right. So, the hoppers here, it goes down to an auger through the rubber discs, one rotating in relation to the other, that rubs off the hulls. The grain, we'll see when I'm running it, drops down onto this screen, which in this case is just eighth inch fireplace screening. It's not a high-tech seed screen. For other sizes of seeds, you would need to have different screen. This screen is going to shake and deposit the grain and what's left of the chaff that hasn't gone through the screen into a vertical wind column that the grain drops down because it's heavy and the chaff goes out the top because it's light. Let's go down back to the other side of the machine and see how this stuff works. The pedal turns a flywheel, which runs a um, serpentine belt to an old forge blower. Because of the gearing involved here, I'm able to go from my 60 RPMs at the pedals to over 2,000 RPM at the fan, which is a good speed for this fan. Then on the other side of the flywheel, there's a small gear that transmits power to the grinder and also to the oscillator for the screen. This is all junk bicycle parts that have just been cobbled together. If I move it really slowly by hand, you can see all this stuff working. <clears throat> so I'm using one power source to transmit different speed rotational motions to two devices and then I have a small crank which you can see that runs a pitman arm that runs the vibrator. Now this is so slowly that nothing's really moving. Actually there is a little grain coming out I see but it's not going to shake anything. Okay this is the cool part. This is the actual demo of at regular speed. You've seen everything slow, here's what it's like fast. Very easy to pedal. It's like going on the level on a piece of bicycle. Now we'll go around and see everything at its normal speed. This machine, like most machines I've made, is designed to go about 60 pedal RPMs. 